I think there's no question that the combination of AI, machine learning, robotics, the Internet of Things, cloud computing, big data, these disruptive technologies, where they intersect, are going to have a completely non-linear impact on our lives. What we saw in Google Cloud was not only a company that had extraordinary engineering excellence, but also commitment to big thinking. Ocala has always been forward thinking. Ten years ago, no one was thinking on buying groceries online. And maybe five years ago, no one was doing things on the cloud. Uh, and uh, we started way ahead every time. And now we have so much data that we can use deep learning and more advanced machine learning techniques. Online grocery is very different from other kinds of online retail. We have to contend with the 50,000 different products we sell. We have four different temperature regimes. We have short shelf life items. So there's a massive optimization challenge in there. And we've done that with algorithms in the past and now increasingly with machine learning instead. Most of the stuff that we're doing, it can have an effect beyond just delivering groceries. All of our work on dextrose manipulation can be used throughout manufacturing cycles. The work done for the grid controlling the bots, you can imagine this being expanded to all various use cases. I'm a software engineer by origin. I love solving hard problems and I feel very passionately about building a long-term vision that looks out further than is probably comfortable. And along that journey, we also had to disrupt ourselves in terms of the technologies that we use to build our automated warehouses. We said if we're going to do this internationally, we need something that's more scalable and modular. And so we leapfrogged ourselves. Those kind of steps where you literally bet the farm, they look very sensible back through the telescope. But at the time, they're very bold and often painful. But that's what I think makes the difference. And I'd like to think that we're definitely committed to this process of ongoing serial disruption. So I hope looking back in a few years, you know, you ain't seen nothing yet.